Hi, this is Stephanie and I'm back with um, the second segment of our Getting Started video. And what we're going to show you today is kind of the next step. So yesterday we got the foot on the machine, we decided how, which foot we needed, that type of thing. So today we're going to talk about, these are just some tips and tricks that I found out that make life a little easier and help speed the process along a bit. So um, this is just turtle car wax, um, so nothing fancy or exciting. And what I do with this is I actually um, use the little sponge that's inside because it comes with a little sponge. And you're just going to smear that all over your entire quilting surface. So whether you have an extension table or not, you're going to smear this around, you know, in just a circular motion even on the throat of your sewing machine. The only thing I don't wax is the um, metal plate here. Everything else gets waxed. Now, once you have your wax on, you're gonna leave it sit. So a lot of times I might do this the night before, let it sit, it'll dry. And then I just take a, a towel um, and, and just buff it off. Just like we put it on, you're gonna just circular motions and you're gonna take it back off. Now, I'll finish this part here in a minute, but um, the next thing I want to show you is when you get your templates, more than likely, they're going to be blue, okay? The blue is not really the color of the template. It's just a plastic sheeting, so if you've got any nails, and I don't have a lot of nails, um, but you can um, just, this just peels away. So it's not hard, um, but then you're going to get a nice, clear, template and I use um, our grippy dots and the reason um, for these I have these specially made so they're shipped in for us specifically and you get 40 in a package but um, they're smaller than a traditional um, grip dot that you might buy from someone else they're also thinner um, so because the idea is to not raise your template up off the fabric so when we're going to do this, all I'm going to do, it's got a little protective um, sheeting over the top. And if you can peel that off, there we go. Now, if you can see those dots, I'm not sure how clear they are, but we're going to just go ahead and take them off one at a time. And you're just going to stick them onto your ruler. Now, more is always better than less because, you know, it, you can't be too grippy. So you're going to want to apply, I don't know, depending on the size of your template, anywhere between four, like this one, I'll probably do five on. Um, but, you know, you'll see. If you still notice you're sliding, add a couple more. Like I said, you can't have too many. So I've got my little grip dots on there now, but they're a nice rubbery texture so that they don't slide around on your fabric. Okay, um, so that's really, really important because your fabric and your template, of course, have to move together. Um, then I have the needles. Now, everybody always asks, do I need a special needle? The answer is no, you don't need a special needle. Um, but I found on my machine and the thread that I choose to use, which is a 48 polyester, um, that I have better luck with these um, 9014 top stitch needles. Um, the only difference between a regular 9014 and these is the oval eye. The eye is longer, which helps prevent so much thread shredding, which is really great. So we do have these available also. So um, they're $6.50, so they're not going to break the bank. And they, like I said, if you're having a thread shredding issue, this, this is going to probably help you out. So there's those. And um, there's one more thing I wanted to just tell you before. Um, I've just recently started using this product. Um, we will have this soon. We don't have it right now, but um, this is Sewer's Aid and it works wonderful. It's just a, a thread conditioner and it works really great. So again, if you're having any thread shredding, thread breaking, that type of thing, uh, this works really, really nicely. Thank you. 